say, but what were your thought process when you were doing this? Mm-hmm. And he didn't ask me. And, you know, lately that's one of those things I wonder, well, why didn't he ask me? So then why am I trying to make him hear it? You know, mm-hmm. it seemed like a, a kind of a control thing. Like you want him to come to you the way you want him to come to you. And that has really helped me in my thinking and um, not just wanting to just express a whole bunch of stuff. Because uh, he knows how to ask. He has a mouth. And then he's been, um, I've been getting corrected a lot on stop trying to defend yourself. And to me, I didn't think it was defending myself. So the long time, it's really hard to determine, okay, what's defending yourself and what is just stating what's going on, you know? Mm-hmm. And more importantly, I'm like, well, since I don't know the difference all the time, you know, or the right timing to express something, then I need to spend the initial time, especially when being corrected, I'm not trying to say a whole bunch of things, you know, and I think that's been helpful. So another aspect we want to talk about too, um, because she's more the verbal talkative. There is a nonverbal talkative where you're, which I fall into, is um, not expressing myself Um, with my mouth or saying things with my mouth but because I internalize I I am still thinking I do have my thoughts I have my emotions um, that are you know can be the same but she talks more about it and expresses it and says it whereas I don't I internalize it and so you can still be talkative without being verbal in your demeanor and your behavior um and what else? It? Demeanor, behavior, um, how you treat people. How you treat people. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, say if you're, if I'm getting corrected, how would I handle, um, how would I handle the correction in the correction, and then even after, like, am I gonna be um, mad or I don't want to talk? Um, um, you know, I have a demeanor of nobody come and, better not come and talk to me. <laughs> um, things like that. Am, am I doing things out of character? <clears throat> you know, not normal because I'm in my emotions or I'm in my attitude and I feel a certain type of way. Or I didn't agree with what um, my master said or what somebody else said, you know, what somebody else has said to me. Um, am I expressing that nonverbal in my nonverbal behavior? So it's kind of two different um, aspects of the talking, um, the bad talking. Um, so, and it can be expressed in, say, if I think that I'm right about something, I won't say it. I won't express it all the time, but it can be seen in how I receive the correction or something. If I don't receive the correction or I don't think that um, the person who's giving me the correction is right and I think that I'm right, then I can express that in my other behaviors besides, you know, saying it outwardly. So, do we have any other examples or tips? Or any other understanding that we have about talking, the bad talking, because there's a good talking. talking. <laughs> bad talking. I just wanted to uh, reiterate that uh, what Sister C said about talking when you're defensive or ta- over talking your husband, your master, being disrespectful, disobedient to him when you are being defensive. So, say you are able to be a good submissive wife and everything's going well but during those correction um, correction sessions things start to change and you are more interested in proving your point trying to defend yourself and sometimes just sometimes you just have to learn to be okay with not getting the point across maybe at that moment maybe y'all will open up another opportunity to talk with him and get another viewpoint something i hear often this one <laughs> right here maybe is now even the children you share often what <laughs> <laughs> even the children that you know if there's if you're getting in trouble if you um getting corrected you know take it that's not the time to always talk back to try to defend yourself 
especially if you have done something or been um, mm. accused of something to uh, make your, you know, your father, your husband mad, that's not the time to try to defend yourself. Come back when you're at a level head. Come back when he's at a level head. And that maybe there can be communication. But if it's not, if you're shut down, that's okay. It's not the time. Learn to be okay with that. That is, let's say, a hallmark of a submissive wife to not try to overtalk, not trying to prove your point, not trying to correct mm -hmm. your husband. Another thing that I would say that I'm learning about that, being that I do not like to hold a whole bunch of emotion in, I hate the way it feels. You know, I like to get stuff off my chest so I can go back to being what I want to be, which is friendly and hey, whatever. I don't like to be in that state. It is too much for me. But another thing that I learned is too is sometimes if you always think as well for those who do it, well, I could just address that another time. If he doesn't hear you at that time, actually that infuriates me a little bit more. When I've been told before, well, okay, well, it's not the right time. Come back at another time. Well, if I come back at another time and he just doesn't want to hear it, then I really feel, I feel worse sometimes because I'm like, so you just don't want to hear me at all. You just want to go off of only what you want, what, you know, those things like that. And then you feel like your situation is not being resolved. It's not caring enough to be resolved, all those different things like that. And I've actually sometimes felt worse because then I felt like, okay, I put my foot forward to shut up. I did what I was supposed to do. I came back and then it's still this way. It almost made me feel like it didn't work. Um, what I later learned and kind of picked up on is sometimes it's not always about, oh, if it's going to work later. Some things just don't need to be said. It doesn't matter. Like, sometimes you, you, you know what I'm saying? Is, is, you know, your opinion just is not needed in that aspect, period. <laughs> or you, how you felt about that situation is this much compared to the situation overall that you need to just resolve it with you. You need to sit with that situation and feel like, why do you feel like it needs to be out? Why do you feel like he needs to honor it or whatever? Like, sometimes it's something that's bigger that's going on inside of you. You need to be comfortable to say, if it never gets addressed, I'm okay. You know what I mean? And it's not to say that every situation will be that way, but sometimes you really got to get that down because if you start saying, oh, well, later it's going to be handled. If you start taking it that way and it doesn't, now you're really going to be, you're going to be more frustrated. You're going to feel like what you're doing ain't working. And um, that's how I found myself in. Um, I've done it with lots of situations where I've been told or someone tried to help. Oh, girl, later, you just do it later. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then I do that and it doesn't work. All I did was get more upset. It hurt me even more. I'm like, well, then, dang, what's the point of me not waiting until later? I should, you know, and then it, it just made it feel like it didn't work. And then it's, it's really not so. You just don't need to say everything. Everything's not important. You don't need an opinion on everything. Um, you just have to understand that if when someone wants your opinion, they will ask in most cases. Sometimes you can recommend something, but there is an appropriate way and time to do those sort of things. And lastly, I would like to do before closing this one out is um, another thing is, if you have already built a reputation of using your words and they have not been correct, They've been in a state of tearing down. Not to say you ain't never did anything right. We're not speaking of that, just in a negative way. If you are have built a reputation with your husband that you will tear him down in any way, shape, or form, whether it be you're just overly defensive so he can't correct you, whether it be you're always uh, offering advice that he didn't ask for, unsolicited advice, he just, you're just talking. Um, if you've ever dishonored him and disrespected him with your words, one thing that I would recommend or say is that... Um, you have to realize when you are going through a transition and you're correcting yourself in that behavior and you're, you're saying, hey, I'm going to be a submissive. I'm going to learn to be, keep my mouth quiet, do all that. You got to remember in the first beginning stage, you're not going to see those results that you want to see right then and there. It's but going to take time mm -hmm. because your fruit and your past reputation has already shown this man that you can talk anytime you want to, that you'll be disrespectful. Especially if you ever gotten quiet before, like you tried to do this before, you got quiet, you were being more honorable, and then you went backwards and been disrespectful again, then you got honorable again. Then he's going to say, well, what's different to this time than it was the time before? You build a bad reputation, so sometimes it takes more time for him to see that you are changed, that you are turning over a new leaf, that you're not going to be this way anymore. So just keep that in mind. For those who have been very expressive. And you just got to get comfortable with shutting up. Learning to keep silent. He'll ask you if he needs your opinion. If you want it, he will ask. Mm -hmm. so. 
well anyway i hope this video was helpful well part one of talking mm -hmm. outwardly expressively uh, was helpful if you have any questions or any comments leave it in the comment section and share any stories you may have um, but until next time, we'll bid you a shalom. 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 shalom.